right that time again time for another solo overnighter in the woods and today we're going to take our dugout shelter from last week and turn it into a bunker let's get to it all right so last week we had our one million subscriber video and i'm going to make it a part two i'm going to turn our dugout shelter into a earth clay bunker of sorts another bucket list item something i've always thought about and today we're going to get to it but first for those that have not seen part one, go back and check it out. And in fact, I'll give you a quick recap, show you how we got to this point right here, and then we're gonna get her done. Only 75 more to go. Uh, still tastes like crap in plastic. Got the old NBC cap right there. The little triangle on the bottom says it's chemically safe or safe plastic. Most likely not. I'm thinking some sort of dugout shelter. I brought good clay over here from a swampy area. We're elevated here. It's not a good idea to build down here because while I rain, everything goes downhill. But the soil and clay is perfect. So I'm gonna bring that over here and then dig down slightly here. The idea is less digging here and then build walls upward. And it should equal the same as doing like four foot deep. So. Thank you. 
And here we go. Got the old close-up going here for a beefy chili mac from Self-Reliance Outfitters. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. Tell you what, I am happy with this. And yes, it's on my affiliate page in the description box. Catch you all in a few. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. For all the naysayers who are like, that hole is going to fill with water, you're going to be wet. I think of two things. One, you never served in the military, so you have no idea the value of these holes or what they're capable of or how to maintain them. And two, you haven't figured out yet that you're watching my channel and not some fly-by-night one that does this. Alright, so I figure I'm going to go down about one foot, that puts it about three foot from ground level down and then about 18 inches to two feet above me, so four and a half to five foot walls total, and then we'll build our roof on top of that. We're getting there, and if you think about it, this is how most spend the first couple nights on Minecraft. Real life lessons through video games, just saying. Boom, 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 boom.
also, I'm wondering if this thing is bulletproof. One way to find out. Chuck Connor style. Debated whether or not to show that, but then I figured, what the hell. Um, practice 357 Magnum from 30 yards away, about 35 yards away, and it didn't go through the logs. Blew holes in it like this though. Repeated use of that, it's gonna be Swiss cheese and all over for you. So I wouldn't risk it, but I would not go less than three feet compacted on those walls. Um, um, it's up to you, is what it is. One poncho load here and one here. Cover all this down and we're done. So the last thing we could do here is actually extend this out over top of where I climbed in of the entrance right here. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I'm out of time. I am starving. That's a lot of earth I moved today by hand and a poncho and I'm beat, so time for chow. Ribeye, potatoes, and cheese, along with a garden herb seasoning. This is excellent.
it's already so hot in here. I can just feel the heat pumping on my face and right here, I'm probably gonna get burned out and have to leave the opening completely untouched. Um, I might drape a poncho in front of it, but I'll tell you right now, that bad boy is pumping the heat off. You can hear it too. That's insane. So, happy with that. And this is a good experiment because cold weather is here. Okay, so I'm done a shout out in a long time. So today's that day. Paul Hack, he's a fellow Pathfinder instructor. His channel is called Adaptable Survival. Once again, Adaptable Survival. Check him out on YouTube. Underrated, um, not being seen or heard. I've given him a few bumps back in the day and he finally got monetized. So he wants to do this for his primary job. He wants to make money for his family as well as teach at the Pathfinder School. So check him out. Give him a like, give him a sub, tell him I sent you there. Once again, Adaptable Survival. Now we'll talk about this shelter in the morning and I'm happy with this. Got my logs across here. I wanna do something like this for like a week, a week long build and just do it and do it the right way. I mean, roof logs like this and then just see what you can do with multiple rooms. Um, that'd be badass. I probably need two people for that though, but to get her done the right way, um, yeah, something to think about. Anyway, um, I wanna go out with a bang. Yes, I'm still gonna make YouTube videos, but that's the real secret. Those on YouTube that wanna start channels or currently have channels, people that have dead channels, you have to do the work. You gotta look at what people are not doing and do it. And if that means basically killing yourself, that means if how bad do you want it? Go ahead and do it. Tomorrow we'll have our final thoughts and we'll touch on this, but you have to do the work. If you're gonna sit and talk about things on YouTube that have been done five million times and you're gonna rehash it again, or try and tell somebody that, you know, things they don't know when you looked it up on YouTube to talk about it, um, you're probably not gonna go anywhere. You have to do the work. With that, I'm gonna get warm, I'm gonna get comfortable, and I'll catch you all in the morning. early but it's about 30 degrees outside and it's probably 70 to 75 in here so once again I'm happy with that that thing is killing it And there you go, solo overnight building a bunker in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my self-reliance uploaders influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm gonna catch you next time. And now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. All right, the late, great Rich Piana, bodybuilder, YouTuber, entrepreneur, businessman. Um, he had a theory or an idea 5% or 5 percenter. He believed that less than 5% of the world actually accomplishes their goals or their dreams. And he applied it in his world of bodybuilding. He said, take these people who go out there, they're disciplined, they're out there calculating the calories, they're doing all their cardio, they're training six to eight months, everything is perfect. They have that self-control and discipline to actually go out there and do it and put everything into a show and win that show, whether it be local or Mr. Olympia. He said, well, what if people took that same mentality and applied it to what they actually do? 
solving world hunger, curing cancer, you know, things like that. Um, free electricity for everybody. The entire world would be at our disposal. So where I'm going with this is decide what you want to be and who you want to be. Are you a person who will truly go out there and accomplish their goals no matter what? With that, take care of yourself and each other.